The Old West was a time when gunslingers ruled. These cowboys were the law in their land and they lived by their own code. They were fast on the draw and had a reputation for being the best shot in the West. In today's video we have recreated some of the deadliest gunslingers of the Old West and used animation to make them look alive. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please feel free to click the bell as we share content regularly. Let's get started. John King Fisher was one of the most feared and notorious gunfighters of the Old West. John was born in 1853 in Texas to Joby and Lucinda Warren Fisher. Since he was 16 he has been in and out of prison for stealing horses. He was a cold-blooded killer who didn't hesitate to shoot his opponents. Even if they were unarmed, Fisher was also known for his quick draw and marksmanship. He was a victim of an ambush where he was shot in the head and died instantly. He was buried on his ranch and later his remains were moved to Pioneer Cemetery in Ovalde, Texas. James Butler Hickok, better known as Wild Bill, was one of the most famous gunfighters of the American Old West. He was born on May 27, 1837 to William Alonzo and Polly Butler Hickok in Illinois. In 1865, Hickok and David Tutt had a shootout in which Hickok killed Tutt. In 1876, Hickok was fatally shot while playing poker in Deadwood, South Dakota by Jack McCall. His death made him a legend and his life has been chronicled in countless books and movies. John Wesley Hardin was born in 1853 in Texas to Jane Gibson Gibb Hardin and Mary Elizabeth Dixon. He was one of the most notorious gunslingers of the American Old West. Hardin made his first kill at the age of 15 when he shot a former slave in November of 1868. Over the course of his career, he was said to have killed 42 men. In April of 1895, John Selman Sr shot Hardin in the back of the head, killing him. Hardin is buried in El Paso. Tom Horn Jr. was a gunslinger in the Old West. Thomas Horn Jr. was born in Missouri on November 21, 1860 to Thomas S. Horn Sr. and Mary Ann Maricia Miller Horn. He fought in many famous gunfights and was never defeated. He was a legend in his own time and is still remembered today as one of the greatest gunfighters of the Old West. Thomas Horn was hanged the day before his 43rd birthday in 1903 and buried in Columbia Cemetery, Boulder, Colorado. James Brown Miller was born October 25, 1861 in Van Buren, Arkansas to Jacob and Cynthia Basham Miller, but he was raised in Texas. In 1884, Miller fatally shot John Thomas Cooper, 
his sister-in-law's husband, after an argument. He worked as a police officer in Pesos and married Sally Clemens in 1895. John Miller was in jail when an angry mob took over Miller and two other prisoners to the gallows where they were hanged. In the American Old West, there were many gunslingers who were feared and respected. One of the most famous was Sam Bass. He was born in Indiana in 1851 and began his life of crime in Texas. He became a master horse thief and then moved to robbing stagecoaches and trains. He was finally caught and killed by the law in 1878. But his legend lives on. Dallas Studenmeyer was born in Bullock County, Alabama on December 11, 1845 to Louis and Elizabeth Studenmeyer. In the late 1800s, the American West was a place of lawlessness and violence. Men with quick reflexes, even quicker tempers, ruled the land. One of the most feared gunslingers was Dallas Studenmeyer. He was known for his quick draw and deadly accuracy. In just a few short years, he became one of the most feared men in the West. Studenmeyer was shot from behind by James Manning and died instantly. He was buried in Allerton Cemetery in Colorado County, Texas. Robert Clay Allison, one of the most famous gunfighters of his time, he was born on September 2, 1841, in Tennessee, to Jeremiah Scotland Allison, a Texas cattle rancher and Presbyterian minister, and Maria Ruth Brown Allison. Allison was a natural marksman. By the time he was in his early 20s, he was already gaining reputation as one of the best shooters in the country. In 1880, Allison relocated to Mavati, Texas, where he married America Medora, Dora McCullough, they bought a ranch near the Pesos River. Allison died in 1887 when he broke his neck after falling from a wagon. From a wagon. He was buried in Pesos Cemetery. His body was later moved to the courtyard next to the Orient Hotel Museum. And the last in our list is the famous Billy the Kid, whose name wasn't really Billy. Henry McCarty, aka William H. Bonney, was born in 1859 in New York City to Patrick McCarty and Catherine Devine. But he grew up in the American West. Billy was a small man, only about five feet tall, but he was a fast draw and a good shot. He became a famous outlaw in the 1880s when he rode with a group of outlaws called the Regulators. On July 14, 1881, Sheriff Pat Garrett and two deputies shot and killed the kid at Fort Sumner. Thank you guys for watching and we invite you to watch the upcoming videos of the age progression that we did on famous actors of western movies.